Hi there. Well, today we're going to talk about certain tests to ID pearls. And I have two different strands here. Okay. One is a um, strand of artificial pearls, fake pearls, imitation pearls. These are special because they have a mother of pearl bead inside instead of uh, being made out of glass or plastic. So this will make um, an interesting addition. <laughs> the other pearl necklace I have is a beautiful Cortez pearl necklace made with small pearls, kind of round. And finally, another fake strand. This is a Mallorca pearl strand. These are imitation pearls that are considered to be some of the finest quality. These are made in Spain, in the island of Mallorca. They're basically a glass bead and a coating of something that is known or referred to as pearlescence, which is basically a form of plastic with fish scales. Okay. So the first test is the thermal stress <laughs> test. Sorry. So basically what this means is if the pearls are imitation and you hold them in your hand for, let's say, up to five minutes, the pearls will absorb your body heat. Okay. When this happens, you can then shift the pearl strand that you're holding in your hand to your other hand. And then you can feel if it's warm. If it feels cold, then probably it's a natural pearl. Or maybe it's just too cold. So it depends how long you've been holding it, the environment, and many other things. These tests, I don't really recommend them. They're all of them. They're not really that good. But in the case of this Mallorca strand, it warms up in about three minutes, and you will feel it warm. But there's basically another thing that's more important than the heat. Now, in the case of the strand. With the, imit the imitation strand with the mother of pearl beads, well, this one feels cold. You can keep it in your hand for five, six minutes. You move it to your other hand, and it feels cold. So the traits of the mother of pearl beads carry on. So mother of pearl is not a very good absorber of heat. Okay. Now, in the case of their actual real strand. The Cortez Pearl Strand. It feels cool to the touch. It will stay in my hands for minutes. I will shift it and it still feels cool. Now, if your hands are not that sensitive, you can use another part of your body to test it. Your lips. Because your lips are very sensitive. So just basically put the Pearl Strand. It's also your lips. Try not to speak and then move it to the sides like this, like this. You can also use your cheeks. Mm -hmm. So this is a way that will help you to ID fake pearls and real pearls um, with the heat they absorb. Okay, so this would be the corporal heat test. Now, another test that I really like, which is I consider it to be much better, is the viscosity or fluidity test. Let's call it that way, okay? So basically what this means is that pearls are silky to the touch. And you can basically put them in your hand. I, I put them this way. This is the way I like it. I put my thumb like this, and then I try to move the pearls. I slither them, and they feel silky they slither in my hand to perfection. So this test, you can do it with other fingers, like this. But this is the way I like it. Oh, it feels so nice. Now let's try it with the imitation strand with Mother of Pro Beads. It doesn't feel smooth. Not that smooth, not as good as the other one. But this one, the Mallorca pearls, all these feel ugly. 
they basically it feels like they're sticking to your hand it's not a nice sensation so it feels as if they're covered with honey or sugar or something like that so they don't really slither all that well and also look at this this is another thing I don't know if you can see it in my hand these are very old this is a very old strand of Mallorca pearls so do you see those little sparklings those are pieces of the of the plastic coating that's being left behind in my hand so when you do this litter test mm -hmm. if the pearls are like this they will leave a residue of plastic on your hand and of course that will tell you of course you can also use the the flame test which is really good but it's very destructive okay and i don't recommend it unless you really want to have fun so if you want to have fun do that test now another test is um, the clinking test or the sound of pearls so the seas come alive with the sounds of pearls hopefully basically i don't trust this test main maybe because my hearing is not that good scuba diving has messed it up but this is basically what you would do okay you can have your pearls and you allow them to hit each other this way so they make a peculiar sound maybe you can listen to it so this would be the sound of real pearls now let's try with the Mallorcas you listen it's not that audible it's like the glass and the plastic they absorb some of the sound so it's much more subdued but of course it depends on your hearing how how careful you're, you're to notice now let's try with the ones that have mother of pearl beads inside and the sound to me is very similar to the one of the real pearl strand okay let's do it side by side Actually, I can hear a difference. But it's not that noticeable. So I don't really recommend this test, but you can use it to sound like a real connoisseur. So you can go and say, well, what is it just because of the sound it makes, uh, I'm certain that this is a fake one. Of course, you can use the other test to tell before. And there are many other tests that you can use the loop, the water test, etc. They're all found in the blog. So if you care to visit, and that would be great. Uh -huh. And leave your comments also. That That's always uh, appreciated because uh, uh, it makes you enjoy writing the blog a lot more. Remember. The seas come alive with the sound of pearls.